One of the things that I think entrepreneurs often underrate is storytelling. So I think that the job of an entrepreneur, of a founder, is to A, create a vision of what a future might look like, to have a concrete notion of a better place that you want to get to. And that's step one, envisioning. But step two is really um, investing in the art of storytelling. So less Excel, more PowerPoint, uh, less numbers, more vision and storytelling. I think one of the toughest lessons I learned, and I learned it early on in my career, is about firing people. I used to procrastinate. I used to um, drag the process out. And I thought and I justified it to myself and to others that I was being thoughtful and kind and generous. And I was being none of those things. Beating about the bush did them no favors whatsoever. And to the extent that I was being generous, I was being generous with somebody else's money. And it was a tough lesson to learn that really um, being direct, being um, fast to cut when you need to, doing it in a dignified manner that actually really does respect the other person and treats them as the adult that they are, rather than trying to soften it to the point that they don't quite know what's going on and you try to reassure yourself that you're doing a kindness, but you really aren't. My career has had successes, it's had uh, plenty of failures as well. I've <laughs> got a checkered career. But I think that on the occasions that I've been successful, it's due to two or three things. One which I actually rank really highly is good fortune. I think it's very tempting to underrate the importance of luck in all good things that happen to us. And the luck can be literally dumb luck, random things that fall your way. But it's also just the luck of um, where you were born, what time you were born, into what kind of family, what kind of genes, all of that. All things that you inherit without having done anything in order to deserve them, per se. So I think luck is an important thing. And then the second one, and this is an expression of that luck, is working with amazing people. And the thing, good things that have happened during my tenure have always happened because I have amazing partners, um, amazing investors, amazing people that I worked with. And the third thing which has been just a, a constant in my life is my, my wife. Um, Daniela is the love of my life. She's been my partner in thought and in action since uh, we got to know each other many years ago. And again, none of the successes that I have had would I have had without her. Doing what you love always involves sacrifices and tensions and not being able to do all the things that you want and trade-offs that you have to make on a continuous basis. We are in a company that is trying to transform an industry. We're trying to build something of enduring value and the perspective that we take to that is measured not even in years but in decades. Insurance companies grow to be absolutely vast and oftentimes they sustain that growth and they sustain that size for decades, if not hundreds of years. So that's really the mission that we see for ourselves and we're trying to keep our eye on that goal. The milestones along the way with um, big sounding numbers um, helps and is nice, but is not the focal point.